get ready to rumble. In this video, I'm going to teach you about the difference between a relation and a function. So relation is just like what you might think it is. Sounds like relationship. It's a set of ordered pairs, so think of all the points that you've graphed in, in math classes. All of those points are, are ordered pairs, so a relation is a set of those. So here's an example. I've given you five points. Here's one, two, three, four, and five of them. And that would be a relation. But looking at a list of points usually isn't that helpful, so I'm going to graph them just to see what's going on. Okay. So I'm just going to graph those points quickly. You might even want to just pause the video, do this yourself. Here's 2, 0, 3, 1, 2, 5, negative 1, 5, and 4, negative 3. So there are your points. And you'll notice that they are not linear, so there's not a linear relationship among these ordered pairs. Um, which is actually, you know, information in itself. But what we really like to look at in Algebra 2 are special types of relations called functions. So in a function, uh, it's a set of ordered pairs. So again, you know, this just means that it is a type of relation. But it's a special type of relation in which every element in the domain, or x values, is paired with only one element in the range. So every x value is paired with only one y value. So let's think about the example that we just looked at. Here's that relation example. So you'll notice, I want to draw on that, there we go, in those two points, 2 is paired with both 0 and 5. So this is not a function. It's a relation, but not a function. So all it takes is one exception. Right? Everything else was fine. 3 was only paired with, with 1 y value, negative 1 was only paired with 1, and 4 was only paired with 1. But it only took this one break in the, um, in the pattern there to, to make this not a function. So here's another example of a relation. So a circle actually has infinite, infinite points. So we have points all along. Everywhere my laser pointer is going is a different point. Right, all of these. So we want to know, is this a function or not? So we need to figure out, is there any x value? Let's just pick one to start with. How about 1? What is 1 paired with? Is it more than one thing? So if I were to go up here to where the graph is, that would be the first pair. Right, there's the first ordered pair. But notice you could also go down here to the graph. So 1 is also paired with whatever value this is. So there looks like they're close to 3 and negative 3. So this is a problem, right? We have two pairs, two ordered pairs, that both have an x value of 1. So again, this is not a function. And in this case, look at how many places have the same x value, right? All of these places that I'm putting here have that same x value. What about here? Do these x values have more than one y value? So everything here looks pretty good, right? Looks like they only have one x value. Notice there's this big gap in here. Gaps are fine. We don't care about that. There's just a gap in the domain. And everything here only seems to have one x value. So this looks good. I'm going to say that this is a function. Here's our next example. This one's really weird. So you'll notice that 
on these ends, those are actually holes, but on these ends here, those are actually points. So if I was looking at this area, so that would be the x value of negative 3, you'll notice that the point is here, right? That's the point. That is not a point. That's an empty, empty hole. So even in, in this graph, it seems that we are only given one y value for each of these x values, right? These are all good. So this is a function. Another example. This is called a map. So in the map, notice that one side is called the domain. These would be our x values. The other side, the range, we are y values. So it's really simple, actually. It says here that negative 4, if, almost you can think of it as an input, if you put negative 4 into the equation of whatever this was, the output would be 1. So if you put in negative 4, you get 1. That's one output. If you put in 0, you get 5. That's one output. Plug in 3, you get 5. Again, that's one output. It doesn't, doesn't matter that we um, had 5 as the same answer here. Remember, we just put it in and got 1 out. 5 goes in, negative 2 comes out. Everything here looks good. This is also a function. I want to share with you one little thing like to, to use, and that's the vertical line test. So if you're looking at these graphs, let's say the circle graph, from before. Think about an invisible, like an imaginary line that runs through the graph. And you can move it wherever you want to move it, right? You could put a line here, 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 wherever you want. So a vertical line test, what makes this a test is that you want to see if your vertical line hits more than one point on the graph. So let me go back here for a second. Oops. There we go. So here's an example. A vertical line. Notice it hits two places on that graph. Right? So if the vertical line, just kind of summarize this here, if the vertical line touches more than one point, then the relation is not a function. So I like to say that this vertical line, or if I had, if I was doing this in person, I would get a ruler out, right? That's a nice vertical line. I would say, okay, if I put the vertical line starting here, it touches no points. And as I move it closer and closer, right there, it's actually called a tangent, it only touches one point. And then as soon as it touches here, it starts freaking out. You'd hear it go, beep, 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 for this entire part of the graph, beep, 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 beep all the way until I got to right there, it would just go beep, beep, beep. So everywhere it was good, right, everywhere here it was good, but these middle ones, they were not so good because everywhere there, they were touching more than one point at a time. So that would mean that that circle is not a function. So I hope you now understand the difference between the two.